Everyone is also wondering about antibody testing. We know that Governor <clears throat> Cuomo here in New York is expanding antibody testing. We've seen that overseas as well. But explain to everyone at home what those antibody tests can show <clears throat> and what they can't show. Yeah, George, th thank you for giving me the opportunity to address that because there really is a lot of misunderstanding about antibody tests. An antibody test is not saying whether you have the virus now. It's saying whether you were exposed, infected, and likely recovered from the infection. What it is is a measure of the proteins in the body that respond to the virus in question. The problem is that these are tests that need to be validated and calibrated. And many of the tests out there don't do that. So even though you hear about companies saying flooding the market with these antibody tests, a lot of them are not validated. Point number one. Point number two that's important is that we do not know exactly what an antibody titer means. I mean, there's an assumption, a reasonable assumption, that when you have an antibody that you are protected against reinfection. But that has not been proven for this particular virus. It's true for other viruses. I think it's a reasonable assumption, so you wouldn't say, you know, that, that's an absurd idea. It isn't. I mean, it happens with other viruses. But we don't know how long that protection, if it exists, lasts. Is it one month, three months, six months, a year? So the assumption that with the tests that are out there, if you have an antibody positivity, you're good to go, unless that test has been validated and you can show there's a correlation between the antibody and protection, it is an assumption to say that this is something that we can work with. We still have a way to go with them.